Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Gently massage the rat to reduce the effects of rigor mortis. Carefully place the rat into dissecting tray and place dissecting pins to anchor its limbs. Carefully remove the skin of the rat to expose the muscles. Gently peel the skin from the muscles using scissors and probe to tease away muscle that stick to the skin. Use dissecting pins to anchor the skin to dissecting tray. Identify the following muscles and place a different colored pin in each and capture your work after you've finished as additional data in your lab report. These are the different muscles that we identify. First is the biceps bronchii. It is located on the anterior surface of the humerus. Second, triceps bronchii, located on the sides and back of the upper arm. Third is the spina trapezius, located across the dorsal thoracic region of the rat. Fourth is latissimus dorsi. It is located posterior and partially covered by the spina trapezius. Fifth is biceps femoris, located on the side of the thigh in two bundles. Next is tibialis anterior located in the front of the leg. Next muscle is gastrocnemius. It is located in lower leg, bulk of the calf muscle, and attaches to the heel by the Achilles tendon. Next is external oblique. It is located in the sides of the abdomen. Gluteus maximus, located in the lower back and rear. Last muscle that we identify is pectoralis major and pectoralis minor. It is located in chest.
carefully place away the bicep femoris and gastronomies to expose the three leg bones, which are tibia, fibula, and femur, and the small patella or kneecap. Limp glands are circular and are pressed against the jaw muscles. They are not always visible in the rat. Salivary glands are soft, spongy tissue that secretes saliva and amylase, or an enzyme that helps break down food. There are three salivary glands, which are the sublingual, submaxillary, and parotid. The trachea is identifiable by its ring cartilage, which provides support while the esophagus lies underneath the trachea. Larynx is the voice box and it allows rats to make squeaking noises. Lymph nodes contain immune cells that can help fight infections by attacking and destroying germs that are carried in through the lymph fluid. Brain is complex organs that control thought, memory, emotion, touch, motor skills, vision, breathing, temperature, hunger, and every process that regulates the body. Thyroid gland produces hormones that regulate the body metabolic rate, controlling heart, muscle, digestive function, brain development, and bone maintenance. Cervical vertebrae are the bones within the neck. The vertebrae are the bones that make up the backbone of vertebrate animals. Through the abdominal wall of the rat with the following incision. Carefully do not damage the underlying structures. Cut through the ribcage to further expose the underlying organs.
locate the diaphragm which is a layer of muscle that separates the thoracic from abdominal cavity. The heart is centrally located in the thoracic cavity. The two dark colored chambers at the top are most cranial structure on the right side of abdominal cavity. In the intrathoracic portion, coming in intimate contact with diaphragm, the atria or single atrium, and the bottom chambers are the ventricles. The heart is covered by a thin membrane called pericardium. Cecum is a pouch that is connected to the large and small intestine. Food is temporarily stored in cecum while helpful bacteria digest the cellulose found in the plant cells. Most herbivores have large cecum. In humans and other omnivores, the cecum is much smaller and referred as to the appendix. Thymus gland which lies directly over the upper part of the heart, the thymus function in the development of the immune system and is much larger in young rats than it is in older rats. Liver is the organ that occupies much abdominal space. It is just under the diaphragm. The liver has many functions. One of is to produce bile which aids in the digestion of fats. The liver also stores glycogen and transforms waste into less harmful substances. Esophagus, which runs through the diaphragm and moves food from the mouth to the stomach. It is distinguished from the trachea by its lack of cartilage rings. The stomach is found on the right side just under the liver. The function of stomach include food storage, physical breakdown of food, and digestion of protein. The opening between the esophagus and stomach is called cardiac sphincter. The outer margin of curved stomach is called the greater curvature, and the inner margin is called lesser curvature. Pancreas is a thin membrane that may be white and granular, and it lies beneath the stomach. The pancreas produces digestive enzymes that are sent to the intestine by the pancreatic duct. Large intestine which is large, possibly greenish tube that extends from the small intestine and leads to the anus. The final stage of digestion and water absorption occurs in the colon and contains a variety of bacteria to aid in digestion. Rectum is the short terminal section of the colon between the descending colon and the anus. The rectum temporarily stores pieces before they are expelled from the body. The lungs are spongy organs that lie on either side of the heart and should take up the most of the thoracic cavity. The diaphragm is a layer of muscle that separates the thoracic from the abdominal cavity. general structure of the circulatory system of the rat is almost identical to that of humans. Pulmonary circulation carries blood through the lungs for oxygenation and then back to the heart. Systematic circulation moves oxygenated blood through the body after it has left the heart. Cut the heart in half through the frontal plane using a sharp blade. The heart is composed of four chambers, the left and right atria and the left and right ventricles. You may also notice the septum 
and it is a structure that separates two ventricles. Adrenal glands are the small yellow glands embedded in the fat on the top of the kidneys. They secrete adrenaline into the blood during times of stress. Ureters are the two thin tubes which is the passageway of urine from the kidneys to the bladder. Remove one of the kidneys and cut it lengthwise. Notice the very fine veins and artery within. Locate the cortex and medulla on one half of the kidneys. The urogenital system, which uro stands for urinary system, and genital stands for reproductive system. The urinary or excretory system and genital system are structurally related. The excretory and reproductive systems of vertebrae are cl closely integrated and are usually studied together as urogenital system. However, they do have different functions. The excretory system removes waste and the reproductive system produces gametes or the sperm and egg cells and provides an environment for the developing embryo. The short gray tube lying dorsal to the urinary bladder is the vagina. The vagina divides into two uterine horns that extend toward the kidneys. This duplex uterus is common in some animals and will accommodate multiple embryos. In contrast, a simple uterus like the kind found in humans has a single chamber for the development of single embryo. At the tips of uterine horns are small lumpy glands called ovaries which are connected to the uterine horns by ovaries. The urethra carries urine from the bladder to dispose urine out from the body, stores urine, and contracts to deliver urine through the urethra.